like to do videos that highlight the joys of family life. So on Twinkle Twinkle Little Fetcha, you're going to find probably a lot of cooking. Normally you'll see me in my kitchen. I really love food um, and I really love, um, I think like probably my love language is service. If that's a love language, I really need to read the book. Um, and I like to do things for other people and one of the ways that I like to bring joy in other people's life is through food and so usually you'll find me in the kitchen but today we're actually in my bedroom and we're doing something I haven't ever done before but I will be doing an unboxing. So you will see here a big box and um, right now I'm filming on an iPhone 8 and that's what I've been filming all of my videos on um, thus far and it's just been really difficult. One difficulty that I have had is storage. Um, because I take all of my photos, like just regular everyday photos on my phone. Um, and even though I like have a fancy camera and those better, those pictures are better quality, um, my phone is just more convenient. So I have a lot of photos on my phone and so storage is a problem. Um, so having these videos filmed is, I guess, on my iPhone has been handy because I always have it, but on another hand, um, I don't know that they're generally like made for this sort of thing. Maybe uh, if you are a YouTube creator out there, um, you can prove me wrong, <laughs> but I don't think that this is like a long-term solution to be using my cell phone. And I plan to have my channel around for a long time, even though I don't have a lot of viewers, I don't have a lot of subscribers, I'm very new at this and I'm trying to get better, I'm trying to have a lot of fun, um, and if nothing else, if nobody ever finds me and if I only have just my family that's watching it um, and a few close friends, you know, I can use these to look back on as like home videos because, let's be real, like preserving your family memories with the amount of digital, like, Recording that we do this day and age, it's really hard to shuffle through things and, and find them. And so because we have so much, um, it's like you almost don't have anything else because you have too much and it's overwhelming. So if nothing else, my YouTube channel will be a place that I can always go back to and look at videos of my family. So anyway, back to what we're doing today, unboxing, um, long story short, I needed a new camera for this channel. I asked um, a couple of people that I really like value their opinion and see that they do really good work and um, I got some feedback. I did my own research. I watched a lot of YouTube channels um, and a lot of YouTube videos on different vlogging cameras and ended up spending more money than I planned on. Um, I originally wanted to spend under $250 on a vlogging camera, but after having done my research, I realized that that just wasn't going to buy me all of the features that I thought were necessary. So it came down to, um, I've used a Canon before, I have a DSLR Rebel something 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 something, <laughs> and um, but it doesn't take video, it's old, I bought it used probably in 2010 maybe, um, so it's older than 2010, um, and there's no video. It is digital, but um, it doesn't have video capabilities, but I loved it, and I think Canon has great sound and color quality, um, so I was pretty sure I wanted a Canon, um, but there was a Sony, I think it was like an A6000 that I almost decided on, um, but in the end, I think just the image quality and the sound quality on a Canon is a little bit better, and I got a really good Canon, like, so let's open it up. It came in the mail, um, I think even on my birthday, but my birthday, if you saw my birthday video, I'll link it down below, um, it was such a hectic day that I was like, oh, I can't even open that. Like, I can't even think about that right now, um, and so I wanted to do it for you. So, uh, I didn't do the whole, like, creator kit thing. I know that that was an option, but it was significantly more expensive, and I was already blowing my budget, and so, um, 
I just got the camera. <laughs> Period. The end. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. This is the Canon. What is it called? Uh, EOS M50. All right, let's see what it looks like. Um, one of the other defining factors on getting this one, and my daughter was like, are you sure you want a white camera? And I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. So, this camera came in white. Oh my gosh, it's so cute and little. I can't believe this day and age they can make so many feet. It's like, you guys, I was worried. I was really worried that it was going to be big and heavy, and it is not. Okay, it doesn't have a lens on it right now, but um, it's tiny. It is so little. This it has a nice flip screen. Ta da! So, the idea here, and I still need to get a um, tripod or some sort of. I've seen other vloggers have like a stick that they hold. Um, so I, I need to do my research on that. Um, so the idea is then, right, you can see yourself. Um, one of the things that I was deciding on too when I got this because the Sony had a flip up screen so that the screen was right above it so it looked more, like if you were looking at yourself when you're filming, um, your eyes would still look like they were looking at your audience, which is something you have to consider when you're making videos. Um, but I read and saw in some reviews that the Sony, because the thing was up here, it interfered with the microphone. Um, and this had a little bit better reviews. So I'm just going to have to train myself to look at the lens and um, only the screen to make sure I'm filming what I need to film. So I am pumped that this is so tiny. I was, I was honestly, I was like, oh my gosh, could I look at my other older DSLR and I was like, oh, that's right, that's why I don't use that that often, is because it's so big and bulky, and I was really worried that this was going to be too, but it's not. It's like the cutest, littlest, cutest little white thing you ever did see in your whole life. Um, ooh, it even comes with a strap, very nice, and it's skinny, it's not big and thick like my other one. color. So I think you just like unravel that bad boy and put it right in there. So it came with a strap. What else did it come with? Oh, gotta have this, your battery charger. I wonder if my other battery is interchangeable with this. I think I have a couple batteries. And it looks like it. Yep. So that's pretty sweet. And then the little plug-in just pops right out and then pops right back in for easy storage. That's your charger, and a battery. So I will get right on charging this so that I can, I wonder if it has any charge at all right now. Can we just put it in and see? Oh my gosh, it's so little. I don't know what I'm doing. Should I be like read directions, do you think? Or should I just who needs directions when you have common sense? I think you just Okay, so it's a little bit heavier with the lens, obviously, like, kind of a little bit heavier, but still, I mean, just, it just fits, like, right in my hand, and I wonder if I can get it to do anything, let's see, video, on, and then my screen, I'll show you guys, did pop on right away. So, looks like I can do some 
time zone setting. So let's just set the date right away. If I use this. Oh. That's cool. On your screen, you have like everything you need. Okay. I probably am going to have to watch more YouTube tutorials. So if you have a great one on the Canon M50, um, give me a link down in the comments and I will watch it. Um, I do most of my video watching either during nap time or after the kids are in bed. Did you hear them? I mean, they're like, I'm gone for five minutes and they just absolutely need me. Um, so I better keep going. Sounds like some crap is going down. And I am going to do a little, I should turn it off. Okay. I should charge my battery. I'm really excited. You guys will be seeing better image quality and sound quality from me soon. Um, thanks for watching today. If you like today's unboxing, give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you back here probably either with a grocery haul soon or in the kitchen. I have um, a dish that I'm wanting to film for you guys soon. So thanks again. Have a great day.